there's no better preparation for Shabbat than a meditative one. I want to invite you to take some moments before Shabbat begins to join me in the following meditation. Shabbat Menucha. Most don't notice that the very first place the Torah tells us of how we observe Shabbat is by saying, Al Yetze Ish Mim Komo Biom HaShabbat. A person should not leave their place on Shabbat. What would it mean to really be in your place on Shabbat? What would it mean to truly have menucha in the deep sense of very profound presence, a restful presence? Let's take these moments before Shabbat to align ourselves with makom, so that even as the day comes in and there's so much that we will be doing during Shabbat, we'll anchor ourselves with the deepest resource of aligning ourselves with place before the day comes in, so that every opportunity we have, we can realign by reminding ourselves of Makom. Allow yourself to settle in to the place where you are currently being. Sense how so much of the week has been in so many different directions. Your physical body actually embodies the six days of the week and the six directions that your different sides face. Whether it be going to the right on the first day of the week or to the left on the second. Whether it be going forward on the third or upwards on the fourth. Perhaps you are going downwards on the fifth or connecting to what's behind you on the sixth. Now you're at the place of the seventh where all the directions coalesce from the realms of becoming into the simplicity of being. Breathe deeply into your nostrils. Slowly release the air you've taken in. Breathe deeply again into your nostrils. And slowly release and with that release all tension begin to leave your body one more breathing in this time with a sense of the life force that Hashem is sharing with you right now again, beginning to sense the simple pleasure of presence, Pamakom. Allow 
your body to receive right now. All the output that's been the occupations of the week. And now reverse to input from all the directions you've visited. Indeed, that right side of the first day when light was created now can be your absorbing that light, a light of love, a light of wisdom, sense your right side glowing with that. And on the second day, the left side, when Hashem divided the waters, creating separation, allow yourself to absorb the powers of differentiation and clarity of boundaries. Sense how before you, the third day, the day when the grasses grow and creation began to live with organic plant life. Sense the life force of forward movement of growth entering you in your chest area. and the entire front of your body and face. Know that above you are the orbs of the heavens created on the fourth day. Sense the light shining down on you meeting the top of your skull. As we're told, their light is full of joy and praise for God. You might lift your face slightly upwards to receive that joyous light of the fourth day. And now beneath you, sense the presence of the ground receiving, accepting all. And beneath it, the waters, the fish, the glory of an extraordinarily multicolored creation of the fifth day, revealing the glory of Hashem through his multicolored creation. Feel that energy coming up through you as if rising from the ground seeking myriad expressions of creative realization. And finally, the sixth day, the recipients of all this goodness, animal life, and its highest expression, humanity.
sense yourself being guided from behind, supported by all of creation. Your body filled with the energy of an entire week now, pouring back its goodness into you. Open your heart, sense it being energized. Imagine as if your breath you're breathing in is coming through into your heart. Imagine as if the kindness and love of the right and the clarity of the left and the purposefulness of the front and the presence of giving from above and the support of growing from the bottom and all things devoted from behind fill you with the goodness and joy of life. Shabbat receives, you receive, your place is full, your preparation complete. With all that you have become this week, the very best of your moments, the life force of each of the aspects of time, inviting you now to simply be Bamakom and receive it all with joyous love and acceptance. Allow yourself now to absorb all this. And when Shabbat enters, to recall all this. I bless you and all of the Jewish people with a Shabbat Shalom.